evening, good evening. Welcome to another week of YouStyle Magazine live radio show. Thanks, guys, for tuning in with me for another week. I have a great guest with me tonight. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of my supporters. You guys have been amazing. Y'all have supported me. My first show was awesome, so I thank everyone for tuning in. I thank all of the congratulations. This week is going to be another great show. If you guys have been following my YouStyle Magazine eMag, um, you will notice that my next guest was one of my very first write-ups that I did for my very first article that came out, or my fr very first issue that came out for YouStyle Magazine. Miss Ivory Twyman is my guest for tonight. She is the CEO and the owner of Clothed and Ivy Boutique. So she is here live with us today. She has a model that's going to be showing us some of her great fashions. We're going to be talking all types of stuff, motherhood, business, CEO stuff. So you guys stay tuned. Do not go anywhere. And again, I want to thank you all very much for all of the support. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we had a great week. Mitch Cradle, Cradle, your re-premiere of Boss was awesome. You did a great job. Um, again, I want to thank you for being my guest last week. You and Killer Cow, everybody loved you guys. So did I. So I hung out with y'all last week, and it was great. So I just wanted to say thank you very much. Again, you guys continue to support me. We have some great guests coming up. If you're looking to be a guest on You Style Magazine Live Radio Show, make sure you send us an email at YouStyleMagazineLive at gmail.com, and we will get back to you. I know I've gotten a lot of responses for people that are wanting to come on the show. Please bear with me, you guys. I'm trying to just get a hold of everything. I swear I haven't forgotten about you, um, but we're just trying to get everything lined up. So again, I want you guys to sit back, enjoy. After this break, I'm going to have Miss Ivory Twyming, CEO and owner of Clothed and Ivy Boutique. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.
right, welcome back, you guys. Welcome back. We're sitting here. We got a little bit more comfortable now. I got the beautiful Miss Ivory Twyman with me. Say hello to Miss Twyman, everybody. <laughs> Awesome. So thanks for coming. Thanks. Thank and I you. finally get to meet you in person. I know. The first time I just kind of did a write up, but I didn't get a chance to meet you. So I'm so glad to have you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank such you. A thank you for coming. So tell us a little bit about Miss Twyman. Okay. What's going on? You got the boutique. You got your mother. You are a CEO. You're a business owner. You're a whole bunch of stuff. And a wife. A wife, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, the biggest uh, the job, biggest right? The biggest job, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so just a little bit about myself again. Like you just said, mm -hmm. I'm a mother. I started, um, I stepped out on faith two years ago. Uh, once I had the twins, I knew that I needed to uh, step away and do something and, and follow my dream at, mm -hmm. at that time. And I, I had a lot of time to sit home for months away while I was on maternity leave initially um because i went out early on leave because i went into la labor early but nevertheless while i was sitting there before having the twins i was talking to my husband and i was just trying to figure out you know how do i really make my dream happen you know, my brother taught me young as young as a little girl he was like you know ivory it's okay to dream but you have to have that vision in order to make that dream come true that's right that's right so it was I guess at that moment, I was like, you know, I'm not getting any younger, and I really just can't just not do what I really, really, really passionately want to do in my life. Right. I'm going to just step out. And that was amongst having two twins, two babies. I launched, I had them in November, and I launched Clothed and Ivy that March. Awesome, awesome. So, so how scary was that? You know, with when you have God, like, really as the force that's driving it, it really wasn't fearful for me at all. And that's what, and it was easier than what I expected. I guess the fear initially of not doing it is where you really, um, that's where your, your blessings are blocked, you know, and you just be just fearful of stepping out and doing really what you love and you dream of doing. And what a lot of people don't know is that I, this is, I'm like experienced in this field. I've been in retail management I was in for years. I used and that, to And that's what I was gonna ask you. How did you know fashion was what you right. wanted to do? Because I mean you seem like you know it so well. Right, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. So I have been I have been had the wonderful opportunity of managing some of the uh, mo most prominent stores in the area. I used to be uh, one of the store managers at BB, um, BB at Pentagon City, then we redesigned the store in Montgomery Mall, then I went back to Pentagon City once we redid that store. Um, Sicily, which is a chain off of United Colors of Benetton, I, I managed there on Connecticut Avenue. Um, Wet Seal, Contempo Casuals, and I ended my retail career as a senior store manager in, at Ann Taylor in Old Town. So it was then where I started to gain clientele in, uh, in personal wardrobe styling. Oh, wow. Okay. So, and that's, for me, it was like, oh my gosh, like this is what I really, really love. So I started styling a lot of my clients outside of my store that I worked in. Okay. So that they needed an outfit for a particular event, I would go to Nordstrom's, or go over to uh, Macy's, go to this place that I'll do, get accessories, whatever I needed to style them. And, you know, I got paid for it. Right. So I was like, oh my gosh, like this is even better. Like I really, really, really love this. So it was then when I was like, you know, I want my own. Mm -hmm. You know, I want, I want to do this full time. I want to be able to style people on the regular. I want to be able to go, you know, all over the world with it. Right. So, which was many, many years ago. And I got scared <laughs> <laughs> at that time and I didn't do it. I thought I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it a corporate job. I'm just going to get in the corporate field. I'm not going to follow my dream. I'm going to put that on the back burner. And I became an executive assistant. Okay. So for, for a few years, and I did that. And that probably killed you, didn't it? Uh, yes. <laughs> you know, but it, it, was a, it was wonderful, you know, while, while I did it. You know, just being able to see someone else's dream grow. And I think for me, with my, my, my last boss in my career, I, I, I mean, his, his 
business is just phenomenal and what he loves to do. And I just watched it grow and watched it grow. And, you know, as he planted his seed and watched it grow and grow. So it was then I was just like, you know, I really have to live my, you know, what I enjoy doing, what exactly. I love doing. You know, I can't sit behind the desk anymore. I can't let hours just pass me by. Like, God, I prayed on it. I prayed on it. And it actually... I did both. I did the online part of Clothing Ivy, mm -hmm. and I worked full time for a year and a half. So it's like, you know, you never know when it's going to be that time where right. it's like for right. you just to step right. out there right. and it's your time. Because even when I first launched Clothing Ivy, I was very scared, fearful about doing it full time. I was going to say, because I know there had to be moments yeah, where I you was... really doubted yourself, like, oh my goodness, am mm -hmm. I really making the right decision? Exactly. So right. that was initially, but it wasn't until. The moment that I went to work one day and typed up my resignation while I was there and I handed it to them and gave my two weeks and it was like I never looked back. And right. it was that moment I had that feeling that I didn't even know I had that morning. And I remember calling my niece on the phone and I was like, hey, I was like, have you ever wanted to do something that you felt that it probably wouldn't be your best thing to do at that, at that moment because right. of the different circumstances in your life. And she was like, actually, yeah, I have. I said, would it be more? I said, have you ever thought about leaving your career mm -hmm. and just stepping out on something that you love? She said, I'm sitting here with my resignation in front of me right now. Wow. And she was wow. managing in, in the banking field. And I was like, are you serious? Wow. And she said, yeah. And I'm constantly, she said, I was sitting here at my desk contemplating whether, to, whether or not to submit it to my boss or not. She said, but this call, and we don't talk often. Mm -hmm. She said, but this call right here was her confirmation. Wow. And it Look was mine. That. Look at that. Exactly. So you both, you two helped each other. Yeah. Just kind of say, okay, you know what? This is it. This is it. This is it. It's time to go. Awesome. And so the name Clothed and Ivy. Yes. Obviously, it's after it's named after you. Yes, it awesome. is. <laughs> and that came to me just one night. I was just like, because I was I was kept trying to think of a name, a name like what is it? What is it? And then initially, it was going to be like Minx Boutique. It was M I N X Boutique, uh -huh. and this was all. But I was like, no, nah, that's not me. That's not me. I don't, like I couldn't get it. One, I woke up in the middle of the night, three in the morning. This is when the babies were like a few days old and uh -huh. I ran downstairs I had a nanny at the time who was staying who flew in to stay with us so I ran downstairs and I woke her up I was like I got it I got it and she was like you got what and I was like I have the name for my business Wow. and she was like well what is it and I said, clothed and Ivy. I love it. I love and I was it. like, everyone always, they were saying, oh, that's Ivory. I want you to clothe me for this. I want you to clothe me for that. I want you to clothe me for that. And so I took it as the Ivy leaf and made it like clothed, like a clover. Right. And right. clothed and Ivy. I love it. I so, love it. And now, I designed now, the logo as well. Wait a minute, well. because now I, I, I remember writing when I did my write-up on you. I remember writing where you even started way back in like high school. Mm-hmm. Um, helping like your classmates in in their wardrobe preparation. Yeah. For <laughs> I did, I did. So it I, even it you, was, you even had it way back oh, then. Oh, way back then. <laughs> even to in high school, like being one of the fa the fashion show coordinators. Uh -huh. uh, I, we did. We had a fashion team, and I just have designed a special. Uh, my last scene I did in high school was called Envy, and it was okay. really. It was really, um, really a hot scene. So I've been in fashion forever. And then I got, at Eastern, I achieved the um, superlative of best dressed female. Oh, wow. So okay. fashion has really, really been my niche and my passion for so long. Exactly. So long. Wow, wow. Well, we're going to take a break, you guys. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick, quick break, and we are going to be right back. I have also a special co-host that has finally made it in the building through the snow, Mr. Dr. Bryce. But he's going to be here. He's going to join us some more with, with his fashion sense as well. And we're going to finish having a good time with Miss Ivy. We got a nice fashion show with some beautiful, beautiful stuff that we're going to take a look at. And an awesome and beautiful model sitting over there ready to shine. So don't you guys go anywhere. We will be right back.
check it out and definitely follow me on Instagram you'll get all of my new fashions that I have coming in Okay, so again, follow me on Instagram as well. You'll get to see all of my latest fashions that do hit the site at Clothed and Ivy Boutique. Wait a minute, because I like how she sticks this leg out. Of course. I got to I gotta <laughs> insinuate. I have to insinuate, right? Because we're not just wearing just a plain denim skirt anymore. How about that? We're going to give it that action, okay? That's right. And then I'm featured here with, um, I have custom-made necklaces and chains that are custom made again you can hit me up if you would like one they are 78 dollars i can make it in all different color leathers and fringe and denims and all the everything that you want so this is part of my alter ego collection because ladies we know we all have an alter ego right hello <laughs> thank you bridget oh, thank you thank you now come on down here before you make me mad <laughs> Yes. As well. Mm -hmm. um, is this something that you and your husband had together? Is this his project? Is this your project? Actually, it's um, it's both of our projects. It's kind of Preston for a long time. If anyone knows his background, he is like this fashion groove, yes. guru when it comes <laughs> as far as with men. I mean, he can tell you exactly how to wear an ascot to a trench coat and everything else. So when I tell you... He is, um, this was one of his his passions as well, to start his own men's collection. And of course, as his wife, I was totally, absolutely behind him. And I didn't even know his interest in starting until we got to a trade show. And I'm like, baby, come on, let's go over here. He's like, no, let me look at these men's collection over here. And I'm like, wow. I was like, but wait, we're here for me. We love the Navi. <laughs> so, you know, and... I mean, it's just awesome. We launched it October 7th, and I'm just so super proud of him because he's doing his thing, you know, and he's still, you know, doing his full time. He's a barber um, at GQ Barber Lounge now, but he he's also very, very passionate about his clothing line as well, and I'm very proud of him. And I just want to shout out to my son, Kendall. Hi, Kendall, if you're watching. I promised him I would shout him out. He's like, Mommy, please shout me out. And I just want him to know. Mommy's gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. And hi, Princeton and Kingston. I know you all are watching Mommy, too. Kingston's probably over there rapping. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, it, it's it's actually easy. Okay. Like, we work very well together, and I couldn't even imagine, like, working the business without him And because he helps me a lot with clothing ivy. He's my go-to person when, I, when I'm considering different designs or different avenues to go for collections. I'm like, baby, what do you think about this? He gives me his in intake on that, his insight or whatnot, and the same thing with his collection. So right now we're in the process of bringing out his spring. So we had to collectively, like I had him send me everything that he, you know, he the, how he wanted his spring to look, and I went over that, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, I like this, but I don't know about this, you know, so and he, that's and it, that's Uh, to, uh, as far as together? Yes, yeah. together. So, like, how do you, like, when you're out and, and, you're, and, and you're at trade shows and stuff, so how do you decide, um, that would look nice in this collection, but what about it in this collection? Like, how do you guys go about just kind of formulating what you're going to do? Well, I kind of, want? as far as with his, I let him do his own thing. Yeah, he does his own thing. He kind of picks out whatever he wants because this is his collection, okay. his whole style and everything in the same way that how I would go to him and just ask him my, my uh, his insight is the same that he does as far as with me. And it's only my opinion, but at the end of the day, he has that final because it's his collection. So he has and, that and final say. GQ Collection by P, and you can also, you better, you better yes, you can follow way. him on Instagram as well at GQ Collection by P on Instagram. So let me ask you this, what are some of the things that he's focused on in his current collection? 
So he's focused on, like he's doing like these really funky t-shirts, um, more so like with the, um, with like rips or tears and zips and stuff like that. And with the jeans, I know that we were going, like he, his jeans are like real like nice. He has the zipper on the going on the knees and he did like an ash wash, like a gray ash with like, um, they're just real fly. And then like the little light jackets, denim jackets that go with it, they kind of have, he looks at different like types of collars, the way it flips or pins, zips, and just not sure ordinary that you're going to go into just the mall and find. So he, his piece is he, he definitely focuses on trying to stand out and be unique. And then he also has a custom men collection as well. So if you're looking for like this suit, this this bad suit that we're to an event. Give you and him can sit right, down. Right, 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 okay. Right. So yeah. custom, you know, is it like shirts and you know Yes, he does shirts, suit jackets, pants, the works. So basically anything for the night life. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anything for the night life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Well we 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 have a we want to get started with this beautiful model here, because I'm dying, y'all. Check this suit out. <laughs> Um, we're going to let her show some of the very nice um, items that Ivory brought with her. Ivory, how about you do the intro? Of course. What we have on here. Absolutely. So this I wanted to show you that Clothed and Ivy's collection is going to give you, I, I tried to create a different collection that can cater to all women, the every woman. So we're talking about this right here is this business look where you can take this fab jacket and Okay, so you can take this fab jacket with the matching pants, right? So this is your career look. This is what you wore to work today. When you walked in, oh yeah, you had haters, you know that. They exist, right? So, but I mean, it's very chic and funky. Just not your traditional blazer with the lapel. We took the lapels out. Let's give you this low cut look where you can have all this ruffle just come out of it, right? Okay, and the detail of the gold buttons. Look at the length in it, ladies. It's giving you all that fab and classiness. But you're gonna take this career look to the nightlife. So let, we're going to from career to happy hour, right? Because that's what we do. We're gonna get off work and we're gonna take our career to the happy hour, okay? So now we're at Ruth Chris, right? So we're at Ruth Chris, we are looking fab, all of the men are checking us out, and women, cause you know they looking too. Right. Diversify, diversify. <laughs> right, and so we wanna show you how you can just transition, okay? And that's what you're gonna get. Now all of this is available online and this is under 50 and fab so we're talking about ladies this outfit is created under 200 dollars the pants are 56 dollars the top is 36 dollars and the blazer is 49 dollars so you all can be fabulous fabulous yes does the body come with the pants oh, I, I, oh well you know that the girl yes Absolutely. This stomach of mine ain't gonna go too well with them buttons. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, we can make everything work. That's okay. Of course. Of they probably see this like, oh, it looks cute on her. But right. Come on now, I got a little something extra. <laughs> you know, I got a little C cups up here too. Right. How can you customize that this style for someone that's in that particular size? Oh well, see with. With anyone, whether they're my size or Bridget's size or this young lady's size, you just pretty much, outside of making it actual custom, you we, we would tailor it where you would put like a spank underneath of it, okay? okay. So spank where it holds the belly in, All right. okay? okay? A lot of people don't know, but I, I'm not sure, I'm not too like scared to share it, but I wear spanks. When they see me online, it's in every single thing I wear. It's on me right oh, now. because honey, I'm telling you, I look and I'm <laughs> like, that girl's body is ridiculous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she's slim and trim. No, I'm talking about you. Oh, well, dang. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 But, but yeah, so, and that's what I love doing. So, let's just say if this outfit is not going to work for everyone, let's be honest. But Ivory has something, Clove and Ivy has something for every single one. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, I can see how this can actually parallel what you have on. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. That's something that Ivy is known for, am I correct? 
Yes, right. it is. Right. Yes, thank you. So what do you, you have planned for spring? Okay, so spring, we're going into, actually, this is a, a part of the early part of the spring collection. So spring, which I never carried before, is I'm, I'm like doing it with pants right now. So yes. the pants are like the bomb. They're probably my number one selling item, and they're so comfortable. They're so super stretchy. They're yeah. so oh, yeah, stretchy. I can, yeah, I can yeah. work with them. Oh, right, yeah. exactly, right? Oh, yeah. Right, I mean, all the way... I mean, to a size 16, 18 are fitting them to my largest for spring. Right. I have worked very hard to find that particular pan that is high in quality, but also is, very, is, is easy and um, transitional. And also, you can carry it anywhere. How about you fold this up, wrinkle-free when you go on your vacations, exactly. travels, and all of that. So that's what a lot of uh, the looks that I'm giving for spring. I have maxi dresses launching this Friday. Oh, awesome. I have... Um, Orange pants, yellow pants, green pants, all types of slacks. Slacks are like these women love slacks. Exactly. Beautiful blouses, yes. Yes. flowy blouses. We're doing. I mean, we're we're gonna give it to you for spring. Yeah, it, it's gonna be absolutely Great. off the chain. So, awesome. Any colors? yeah. So the colors for the spring we're doing is the tangerine. I like that. It's, yes, it's, it's really <laughs> nice. Oh, hello. That's right. Yeah. Yes, that's it. K uh, Kelly Green. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We're doing uh, the yellow, and uh, which is a mustard yellow. We're doing okay. the mustard yellow, as well as we are doing um, what's the third color? Oh, reds. Believe it or not, yeah. reds. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So. Mm -hmm. So you guys, um, don't go anywhere. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna let our beautiful model and Miss Irie change up and into something else fabulous for us to take a look at. Okay. And we will be right back. You guys don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Bridget. <laughs> And, and I'm sorry, we were expecting a surprise to pop up on the screen, and I thought it just popped up on the screen. Oh, yeah. And it just popped up. Oh, on the that is so cute. <laughs> oh, so, Ivy, why yes. don't you tell us who this is? Oh, my goodness. 
Wow, that was a surprise. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know it's fair, but that's yes, that's that's my girlfriend right there. She Aww. is like doing it right now, rocking. She supported me initially, and of course, when I first started. So that was the day that I launched my collection oh, yeah. was when she purchased that jacket. Very yeah, good. so that 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 picture is definitely epic because uh, I mean she remembered back even then when this was my passion and something that I really wanted to do back in our teenage years because we've been friends since since the sandbox. So, wow. yeah, so wow. that is yeah, yep, that's oh, that's a surprise. That's oh. cute. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mm-hmm. However, what is your idol in the midst of this, your style, and how you come up with your creation? Um, I would say, my, I don't like a fashion idol. Yeah, who's your fashion idol? Gotcha. I'm, right. <laughs> like, you got me stuck on that one. I don't know who my fashion idol is. I think just for me, I've this has been... And I had to say, I have to date it back till I was five years old back then saying, you know, when, when I was five years old, my brother has a video to this day. And I actually was looking for the video because I wanted to show where it actually said, my brother was like, Ivory, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, well, I want to be this fashion person like my sister Patrice. And I guess when you say fashion, I, I did, my, my idol was my sister. My sister was a fashion model. She's modeled all over the world and and she did this back in her youth her body was off the chain you know but as far and and I just wanted to be like her and this was with me growing up and I was like wow like I want to be this it in fashion like I wanted to that was what drove me as a little girl so and I kind of spoke on that in my story that it's it uh, derived from when I was just a little girl so with that and it started from my sister So let me ask you this. Who would be, like, your dream person to be able to style? I know that's right. Like, who would you just... Of (laughs) course. My dream person would be Beyonce. Oh, right. Absolutely. Like, that is who I would love to style. If I could get that opportunity... I, I would die for it. You know, actually, awesome. I can see some of her stuff. You know, her style yeah. actually kind of reflects, oh, you know. Yeah, you. I can see some of that. Especially yes. pants. Uh-huh. You know, a lot of the pictures that you see Beyonce in, it's, it's all driven from pants, mm-hmm. you know, exactly. certain skirts or dresses yeah. like you have on right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can see that. Especially coming from Houston, Texas. You know, I got I know that's right. right. I know that's right. <laughs> yes. Awesome. awesome. So let me ask you this. So what exactly... Um, um, what what can we expect coming from Clothed and Ivy? I know that you are working on um, a brick and mortar mm-hmm. store, so we can expect that when that is due for completion uh, this fall. So we're looking. I'm actually planning now to get everything together for a huge grand opening. Um, we're hiring uh, for this October. So October 2017, it will open this year. We were projecting initially in August, but the construction kind of got pushed back a little. So we're looking, projecting for everything to be completed in September of this year, and then I'm going to do a grand opening in October. Awesome. Awesome. So you sound magazine will be there. I know that's right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You know, I go ahead. Uh, no, I have to ask. You know, with you starting your brick and mortar, are you mm-hmm. ready for that type of demographic? You know, as it relates to unisex purchasing, maybe purchasing some of your clothes. How do you feel about that? I'm excited, and I can't wait because initially, I guess starting um, when I started two years ago, well, and when I opened, when I built the boutique in my basement a year ago, at that time, I was like, you know, um, I wasn't ready. You know, I wasn't ready. I was kind of fearful at that point to take on the responsibility of having that overhead and everything. But once we branched out, I didn't even see where I was going at that time and and how just how promising this career would be for me and how God would bless me. So with that said, it's I've really outgrown my basement. 
at this at this wow. point. I've definitely outgrown my basement. So it's just really taken things to a whole nother level. And I think, and I know if I had not stepped out on faith, left my career, I wouldn't have been able to be in this position where I'll be able to launch this boutique for the world. Yeah, you have an amazing brand. I love it. Thank love you. It. So Thank we you. have um, with us again, so we're going to get you to, that's right, okay. let us know. I've, I have these pants. I, y'all, please look at these pants. Um, and we're going to get Miss Ivory to let us know exactly what we got going on here. All I'm right, all it. right. So here we are. Now we've taken it to yes. the nightlife. We've taken it. We're going to go from brunch on Sunday, and then we're going to go out later. And this is the outfit that's going to do it, right? So this top is uh, is beyond sexy. It's yes, just it is. phenomenal. Imagine you rocking it, wearing it different ways, hooking it up with some denim jeans, with the denim with the yes okay and so we did it with the slacks the tangerine now who thought to put the two colors together where you can do a navy it. with the tangerine i love it and let's spin around and this is a bodysuit that's another thing that's hot right now yeah. bodysuits yeah. now yeah. i was initially like <laughs> bring the body right. bodysuits are hot right <laughs> these ladies are loving these one piece bodysuits Oh, wow, I, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're a body suit person? I have to say, I'm all for seeing ladies in body suits as well, okay? I know, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this, I mean, it's, it's so elegant and chic. And that's one of the main things that I go th with with my collection. I love elegant and chic. You wouldn't see anything raunchy. and Like, I love, like, that sophisticated, chic woman. Where you can take, like, both of these, like, from day to night. You know, so that's what she's writing. These are the tangerine pants. Again, falling under the under 50 and fab. And let me tell you one of the reasons why I did it under 50 and fab, because I want to show that you can have high quality fab pieces for a great value, right? So you can find both of these items online under the under 50 and fab. And uh, yeah, and it's, it's just fine. So pants are it. These high waisted, and then it has the, uh, the crease permanent crease in the front of them. I mean, it's everything. They're long. That's another thing, ladies. They love the length. The length is so long on these pants. And I hear a lot of clients who have just uh, come to shop with me just most recently, they're like, your length on your pants, I can never find them. Like, they're buying these pants in bulk. They're like, give me all six colors. You know, they are really loving, loving, loving the pants. So, this is our next outfit. <laughs> Well, you look good, you look very nice, yes. And so I just have to ask, like, not only this look will look good for spring, but this also look, good, look will also look well for fall. Exactly. You know, Hello? for winter, you know, yes. you can wear a nice thick sweater. Mm -hmm. From the quality of the pants, it seems like it can actually take cold, but also yes. breathable as well. Yes, definitely. That's it. And that's what, again, that's about value, where you can take something from one season and carry it on to the next. That's what's it about, right? little bit more sexy and then we're gonna see what she got coming on while we finish chit-chatting with miss ivory all right so let us know um exactly what 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 can we expect like what do you have that you're working on i know you're doing a lot of community stuff um in the community so let us know exactly what what you're doing okay yes so um, one of the things that i'm doing uh, for the community is i partner with my brother um, again, my brother, who actually he is, his name is Chris Jones, and he is probably my inspiration in being like this business and goal-driven person. He is the one that said that you have to have that vision and make that dream come true. He taught me young. He's the one who got me on film at five saying I wanted to be in fashion awesome. those many years ago. So he started his uh, business called uh, Why Dream Entrepreneur Academy. And what okay. that is, and, and I'm actually now a part of, I'm on his board, one of his board members. So that will be launching really, really soon. And what I will be having the opportunity to do is to dress youth for the success. So teaching our youth how, you know, they can go out here, secure these jobs successfully. And that success look. You know, where we're doing the dark navies, we're doing that black suit, we're doing that power suit. We're, you know, that's my um, 
my what I'm uh, doing for that particular um for the academy and then while he so I'm dealing with the fashion part with the youth and then he's just inspiring them and teaching them all the business ethics they need to go out here and be successful and succeed awesome and you brought up a very good point you know youth now we live in these millennium times you know with the youth where that they want to experience cross-dressing and, and feel like they can be who they are by may, maybe wearing a female blouse or maybe some slim pants and maybe a little bit triggering for their style how do you feel about that i think i love it i think I, absolutely i think that you that anyone that you have to be able to go out here and express yourself the weight freely, you know, with no issues or problems. And one of the things I think I actually just shared that because I posted a picture where I was dressed in one of the male's collection tops with a pair of my slacks. And everybody was like, where can we, all the women, where can we get that top? It sold out last week. I, I posted it last week. And I, cause I told my husband, I'm like, baby, we can do these clothes too. I said, I'm going to show how we can connect both. You know, I don't want them shopping over right. with me, but <laughs> I wanted to show, you know, but it happens. But it happens. You know, it right. can. And if that's what you choose to do, then, hey, we have it for you. You know, anyone can express themselves as freely as they want to. But that's where I just show that you can just, you. I, I put on that shirt, that tie-dye shirt, and all the women bought it. The women wow. loved it. And so now my women are coming, they're putting on some of the collar shirts because it, they're big, they're bustier, they need that more, that more room. You know, it has some of that stretch, that lacquer. Still going to give you that look and look sexy. Let's do it. Right. You know? Well, I love the I love the fact that you can cater to different type of styles, and not only that, you have your husband a tag team. That's a nice little duo there. <laughs> yeah. So I have to ask, with your brick and mortar is coming up, I guess in August, am I correct? Um, it's going to be, be uh, October. October, mm -hmm. uh, starting August and going to be right. ending in October. Mm -hmm. Will your husband have some pieces there in this part of this brick and mortar, or are you going to do it together? Together. Or? Okay, yep, awesome. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah. Uh -huh. I think that's awesome, so yeah. Yeah, it's going to be together, and I think that's another reason with uh, – taking it to to that next level is also because since now I'm collectively working with him with his brand that it's time for us to come out the basement and you know take things to the next level I think you guys you two are just awesome I love it <laughs> I think you two are just absolutely awesome I love thank that you. I do I thank really you do so much um, you guys we're going to take a quick break we'll be right back we have um one more fashion yes. <laughs> uh stuff <laughs> that Miss Irie has brought to show us and she's going to explain to us what we got coming up next. So you guys don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Excellent. Welcome back, you guys. We are still here with Miss Ivory Twyman of Clothed and Ivy Boutique, and I also have my special co-host, Dr. Bryce, joining us also today. I'm having so much fun, but I want you all to check out what we have up here next. And I mean, from head to the feet, y'all. <laughs> So, Ivy, let us know what's going on here. Okay, well, I just wanted to just wrap up things and end this evening with a part of my custom collection. So, one of the things I I tr pride myself in is just trying to set myself apart from other uh, boutiques out here in locations and just make it a little bit more unique. So, this ensemble is for that very chic, edgy, and sexy woman who, I mean, you could just throw on just your downtime, looking good, on the way to the mall, fab, everything. This you is part of the Alter shirt. Ego Collection. A part of my I Alter Ego it. Collection, the Alter Ego is for, I mean, it, it, it consists of leathers and fringe and rips and everything that's going to just make everybody go, mm. You know, it's going, it's, it's screamed for it and hunger for it. So, again, just like with the necklace, the French necklace, we did the French back all in genuine leather. I love Genuine it. leather pieces. And, again, guys, if any of you are viewing it right now, it's custom. So, you can get this. It goes all the way from size small to size 3X. So, this could be for you. And I do the leathers in all different colors. I, love I do that. a pomegranate back leather uh, suede. I do a royal blue. I could do gold. I could do silver. I can actually put gold here, silver here, and black here. It's all custom. And I mean, I, I just love it. It's just so fat. Yeah, I and love then it. she's rocking these new quilted, the little quilted leather pants. They're leather like pants. Real fab they and look sexy. So comfortable. They are so comfortable. Yeah, yep. Comfortable. And they're so comfortable. And this is part of the under 50 and fab, the pants, $49. Okay. <laughs> it's giving you all that. We want to make it. Yeah. And then the top is 98 Not bad when you have genuine leather that's being exactly. incorporated into this item. So I definitely just wanted to finish up with that. But I also want to let all the viewers know today is if anyone comes, the first 20 people, the first 20 people that come and shop in the next few days, the day tomorrow, first 20, and you mention that you heard about me or heard about this or you watch the Bridget You Style live, you're going to get $50 off your purchase. All right, I'm calling okay. myself, but well, y'all better beat me to it. So that means there's 17 people to go. Right. I, I, 17 people to go. That's right. You better beat me to it. $50 off, guys. So definitely hit me up on clothedinivyboutique at gmail.com or inbox me. I'm Ivory Twyman on Facebook. That's Ivory, T-W-Y-M-A-N, Twyman on Facebook. Definitely hit me up on the inbox or on Instagram at Clothed and Ivy Boutique. DM me there, okay? So I just want to thank Bridget. And I must say, let me let Bridget stand up right quick. Because this honey right here, she's doing it. I mean, I didn't style her, but now knowing after this, I may be Bridget's new stylist. Yeah, she but be. she is just so super fab, and she's rocking this tangerine gorgeous <laughs> dress. Girl, when I came in, I was like, Bridget, yeah, you're no, doing it. About you. No, she's no, but she's the host, and she's fab. And, and that's one thing about me, real, recognize, real, and I will compliment a woman in a minute. That's right. Okay? I have, I'm not too proud to do that. Okay? <laughs> so she looks gorgeous, even to the boots. Dear, thank you. Thank yes, you, thank you. you are doing it. And I just want to thank you so much for the thank opportunity. You thank you. This was thank so you. nice, so Great. beautiful. Thank you Great. all. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in for another great week. Um, I want you guys to have an awesome week. Remember to tune in next Monday. We will have Miss Mia Wright joining us of We Can Survive. Um, she will be in the studio. We'll be talking every with about everything that she's doing. We'll be talking about her foundation and everything that she has going on. So you guys, make sure you tune in. Um, and we will be right back here next Monday from 7 p.m. to 8 listenvision.com thank you very much